So the first step is to unlock this um, sprocket cover, as you can see here. Normally that's flat um, and in position there. You need to flick it out. You need to press it in to turn it and then unscrew it anti-clockwise in a sort of normal way. Keep unscrewing until you feel this it disengage completely and then you can take it off like that. <clears throat> that reveals the sprocket area to you and now you need to put the bar in position. So you get your bar and you, you'll see here there's a, an area that the bar will be seated on through this. You seat the bar on there, press it up against the sprocket for now. And then get your chain. You need to make sure the chain is facing the right direction and untangled which is a job in itself. So I've untangled the chain at last and the trick here is to make sure that you get the um, cutting edge of the chain links facing in the right direction and luckily there is a there are arrows on the links here which you probably can't see on the video but you'll see when you get the chain so they show you that they need to be pointing in that direction. So what you need to do is engage the chain on the sprocket and then put it in the groove on the guide bar there. So let's get that back in position. Get the bar back in position. Get the chain engaged on the sprocket. Slot it in to the grooves on the top of the bar. So you get your chain into the groove on the top of the bar and onto the edge, onto the end of the bar and then you can slide this along a touch because ultimately what you're going to have to do is have your chain sitting in the grooves all the way around the bar and you do that when you tighten up the chain tensioner. So and the chain tensioner is this um, this handle here that you turn one way or another to move this lug so that it fits into this hole which enables you to move the bar along to, to get the tension in the chain. So what you have to do is you have to adjust this to get that lug in position so you can get it in that hole whilst at the same time getting that, which is your um, cover handle, onto the bolt there. So slot yourself in at that end, get your handling position. Now I've got this about right now and I can see that that I need to turn this anti-clockwise to move that lug across to the left so it's going to fit into that hole in the bar. Now that's slotted in there now and now you have to press this in to engage it to close the sprocket cover you've still got that open, turn this to tension the chain. And you can see that chain is rising up as we do it, so that bang you're in position. And you want to be able to lift this off about an eighth of an inch. That amount of free play, perhaps tiny a touch more. And you've got your chainsaw assembled, turn that around, slide it back in and you're ready to go.